Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today I want to share with you how we can create forces based on normals to drive rigid body dynamics. So let me just like sketch out the gist of what we're going to see. If you have a box, you know, excuse my drawing, we are going to display the normals and we're gonna control in which direction the normal faces and if we are able to say for example oh the normal is facing in this direction let's make this normal equal my velocity therefore the the pieces are gonna go in that direction and this is very useful because we can apply noises to them so make some stronger than others and it becomes quite helpful both for liquid simulations and for rbds and for a lot of other things but in today's tutorial let's look at how we can apply this to rigid bodies so i'm gonna create a box and since this is not a tutorial on how to break the box and set up rigid bodies i'm gonna go through this part um, fairly quick so let's do a material fracture I like to um, just double check my exploded view to make sure that this works then drop an assemble node and we want to do create packed primitives and let's do a dot network and inside of our dot net we want to drop a packed object and rigid body solver and our packed object is going to be our first context geometry and we want create a convex hull per set of connected primitives so now we hit play nothing happens but if we add a gravity for example we're gonna see the pieces fall but they all fall uniformly so we add a pop force for example you can see that we can actually we can affect the pieces Right, but why do we want the pieces to like go in like a specific way? Okay, so that's why we're gonna sh we're gonna look into like what we can do about that. So first things first, we've got our points. We we've got our stuff here, and we have the assemble, and the assemble basically turns the pieces onto points and packs them so we're gonna add an add and we're gonna delete everything but the points we're gonna middle mouse and you see that it, we don't have normals so i'm just gonna create a wrangle and i'm gonna say at n is equal to zero comma zero comma one Then I'm gonna drop another normal. So this right here creates normal direction. Let's visualize this. So you can see that we're gonna shoot our pieces in that direction. And then on the second normal, or the wrangle, we're gonna say at V is equal at N. So if we have a look at what this is, actually if we before we do that we need to do an attribute transfer and we need to transfer this velocity onto our pieces so we're gonna say here that we want to transfer the velocity now with middle mouse you'll see that we now have the velocity so let's hit play and see what we get see 
let's multiply this by some big number Inherit from point velocity. Okay, so that works, but I think it's just too intense. Okay, so you can see now that it's working. We just need to make sure that inherit from, from point velocity is turned on. So we come here, we see that normals phase in that direction, and we see that's in the direction that our pieces are moving. So what we want to do now is that we're going to drop a attribute bop and we're going to add some noise to this normals. So what we want to do is bind actually turbulent noise. We're going to add some turbulent noise to the position and we're going to grab our velocity and multiply this noise by this turbulence and apply that to our V and then we're gonna do create input parameter so we can control this outside and let's just crank this a little bit and you can see that now we're getting a we're getting the noise randomizing the velocity which is super cool because you can have a lot of control on how on the direction of this through here so if we do like one here or zero here or what happens if we do like negative we're gonna just shoot them in this direction and you can also like increase the amplitude and that's gonna increase the speed in which they're, they're they shoot that way and just something for you guys to think about if you have a grid i mean not really with a grid with anything i'm just gonna i'm not gonna do it for you guys but i'm gonna show you guys the idea here so let's just facet this pre-compute the normals and let's see what we got so those are our normals and then i'm gonna use a comb comb hit enter and now I'm gonna just uh, paint the direction that I want my normals to move so with this you can basically control the direction that the normals are facing and then your pieces are gonna follow that direction so you want them to shoot that way okay let's paint that way Alright guys, I hope this tutorial was useful and I'll be back with more.